Hi there, welcome back to ADSR FMH Tutorials. If you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, get yourself subscribed, youtube.com forward slash ADSR Tuts. Continuing with our look at the FM matrix, the cause and effect and sound design in the FM matrix, in this tutorial I'm going to look at how to use the envelopes in FMA as modulation envelopes. So we don't actually have dedicated modulation envelopes in here. If we go to the modulation page, we can use various stuff like LFOs to modulate our operators and our filters and our pitch. We can't actually use envelopes and assign them in this way. Uh, I'm going to show you a workaround using the FM matrix and the customized envelopes here. So for starters, let's get a nice solid bass or kind of mid-range bass tone together. So operator F, I'm going to keep just route straight to the output, maybe push the volume up to 100. Keep it as a sine wave and take the ratio down by two octaves, so 0.25. Key sync this wavetable. It's got very low sine there. I'm going to turn on operator E next and I grit that sign up a little bit using a ratio of 0.75 and a fifth form mount wavetable key synced. We get that nice kind of form mount tone going. I'm going to enhance this a little bit further, turn on operator D. Take the ratio down to 0.25, so bring it down two octaves, convert it into second four mount wavetable, and then let's route this into operator F also. Move to the master section now to beef the sound up a little bit more, make it monophonic, give it four voices, take the detune off, and push this digital slider up to 100. Let's add some effects as well. Some overdrive. Push everything up to full here. But just maybe bring the volume of this effect down a bit. PQQ. Just boost some kind of sub frequencies in here. And some high mids. Again, bring the volume down slightly. Let's add some chorus as well just to thicken the sound up. I think I need to key sync operator D as well. Also, add a little bit of glide. So now, if we wanted to bring in operator C and bring in a kind of LFO effect on the sound. So with operator C, let's set this up so it has quite a, a nice impact on the other operators. Key sync it. Gives us quite a gritty tone route into operator D. If we take the ratio to 0.75 Sounds a little bit too much if it's constantly like that, but if we start to add an LFO to operator C. Get quite a nice effect on the sound. So let's push the rate up to 63. Change the waveform of the LFO to sawtooth. So what we can do now is effectively the equivalent of modulating this LFO with an envelope is applying an envelope or a slow attack on the envelope for operator C. So we probably want to tempo sync this envelope and zoom out until we see this kind of one here which represents one bar and with the mode on SLD let's drag this out to one bar here so now what's going to happen, we can check it to fix now is that LFO is going to sort of creep into the sound according to this envelope that we've set here effectively applying a modulation envelope to that LFO 
So we could actually take this effect one step further by introducing another operator to the sound and using FM8's customized envelope to create our own kind of LFO pattern, uh, keeping that sort of slow attack on the LFO. So let's remove C being rooted into D and let's just tweak our kind of bass sound a little bit here. Convert E to 0.5 on the ratio. We've lost a little bit of that grit and top end that we can reintroduce here by just increasing this amount of feedback from D, modulating F. And increase E, modulating F. Kind of bringing that sort of high frequency back into the sound. And for operator C now, if we go over to the modulation section, and let's take that LFO off. And we can use a customized envelope on operator C now. So I created one previously for this example, this custom envelope here. If I root operator C straight to the output, we'll hear it. Maybe if I mute F for now. got that quite nice envelope shape on there can actually tweak operator C make it a bit more gritty convert it into a six format waveform and cut the ratio in half so 0 0.375 if I turn operator F back on maybe bring the volume down We've got that nice LFO shape on operator C, but we haven't got the envelope modulation, so it's kind of creeping into the sound. It's kind of present from in the attack phase and the kind of decay and sustain phase. So, so we could actually take this root into the output, take that off, and root it through another operator with a kind of sloped envelope applied to it. So turn on operator B, root that to the output. Root operator C into operator B. Quite a high value gives us quite a nice gritty tone. Let's key sync operator B as well. And now let's apply the operator, the envelope that we had on operator C previously. Let's set that up on operator B. Tempo sync, zoom out until we see this one here representing one bar, check the mode to SLD so we can drag this attack phase out. I'm going to get the volume of this envelope creeping over the course of one bar, check the mode back to fixed. And now we can play around with operator B to just give us some variation on the sound. So maybe take the ratio down to 0.375. Or try a different waveform. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Hopefully you're getting a better understanding now of this FM matrix and how we can use that for sound design within FM8. Any questions, please get in touch and make sure you get yourself over to our website, fm8tutorials.com. Tons more tutorials making various different sounds with FM8. And thanks for watching. All right, cheers. Bye.